All right, folks, I have rammed said car over onto this side. I uh, just making a freeway that I can get in and work on some other stuff. So like this one's still full burn, but it's, uh, it's pretty nice out and we're kind of getting some spring stuff done. And that means some maintenance on things. But that one's pretty much ready to go. I just have to adjust the shift cable because it went bad on me. And one of my airlines I have to replace uh, for the compressor because the check valve is bad on it. But anyways, our plan for this one, I think, is I want to... I have the other hood just about done. And then uh, I think what I'd like to do is probably take it out, sandblast it, and, uh, well, we got to still work it to the grill a bit, but I think I want to sandblast it, get it either in an epoxy or do something, get it one color, maybe do some really light body work on it. I don't think I'm winning not doing any body work, so uh, we'll have to address a few of the spots. We'll touch that up, get the inner part of the fender working because we don't have a front latch. We got the rear latch. That's why I didn't move it back was part of it because then I would have had to do a lot of um, farting around there because the latch is built into the cowl. So I guess a feller could have moved that ahead a bit, but there's a whole lot of buggery that's involved with that. So not that that was not any buggery, everything I just did. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I gonna set a small goal and that will be to blast the hood so tops, blast the hood sides, start some body work anyways, hopefully just get it in primer. I wanna do, Get the little chunks of the car in primer, I think, at a time, so that's not an overwhelming task that the whole car's got to get done. Um, and it'll kind of break the body work up for you guys, so it's not all one horrendous week-long run at this. <laughs> uh, anyways, small goal. I think there's that. I have some wheels I want to switch out on here yet and uh, the ones from the last time I didn't uh, put them on any rims and uh, I think I want to switch those out put them on the car and then uh, yeah we'll see where we get from there but I think we should be pretty good with that uh, yeah I guess we'll get started here on to the alrighty we got our table there doing its thing I'm trying to make some crests kind of mentioned that before Anyways, I'm playing with that. So while that's going on, I, um, I'm going to switch out these tires. So all my tires are the same size. We're going to try these bias plies down here. They're not a permanent thing. But at least we'll have even sized tires. I'm kind of worried that the car won't lay out with those on, but I'm not too worried about it right now. Anyways, first thing to do, pull these off and then... Uh, We'll mount them. I'm not worried about balancing or doing anything. I'll probably pull these off and switch them around as well. If anything, there are going to be some really cool burnout tires. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, it's going to get noisy with the compressor and stuff, but I want to, and dirty. So I want to give these, well, just a quick wire wheel and then I'm going to blast them or smash some paint on them. So at least they look like my back tires. Some of you are going to say, well, this is a waste of time. Should just do it right. I don't know what I'm really doing. And as far as time goes, what do I have into this? Five minutes cleaning that up and spray painting it? <laughs> yeah. 
It's not that big of a deal. Besides, it's probably gonna mess the paint up right now. <laughs> Hey, they're not on very good. What have we done? We... <laughs> We switched our tires out. Now, we got tires on. This thing's at, I wouldn't say max ride height, but pretty darn close. I would never drive the car like this. This is mostly to, uh, uh, for you folks there that are like, you can't drive it that way. They, it's on air ride. You can actually lift the car. If you don't understand that, look how high the car is. This is pretty darn close to stock height when it's aired up. So getting a flat tire and stuff is not gonna be an issue. Um, I think this might be some folks that just think the car is going to drive as low as it was. That's not the intent. The intent is it'll have, it won't sit this high, honestly, but it's, uh, it's plenty high. I can get over almost any obstacle. You can see my hoist here. It's completely loose. It's not connected to, not touching anything, front and rear. So, yeah. So that's to you folks that are curious. When you get a flat tire, the car is going to drag this and this is going to happen. The chances of getting a flat tire, blowing your airbags, like all the airbags or two of them, because you got to remember, I do a four wheel system. So even if one side lost air, the car would still look pretty close to the same. It might sit a little goofy, but if you lost the bag and the thing on one side, yeah, be kind of chaotic, but not still, there's nothing below the scrub line, everything else. The car would probably sit okay. It would handle kind of junky, but that's just what it is. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Anyways, I'm pretty happy with the wheels on there. That looks good. I don't know if it'll go low because the car can't hit the ground because that hoist has got a hump in it. I kind of moved it over to this side because I'm just prepping some stuff and just working on some other stuff. So I can kind of wheel it in and out of here. Kind of the thought. Anyways, let's get at the hood again. Finish that up. All right, we are super close. I'm happy with this fitment. I guess I should add a little bit here. This gap is not great right there. So I'm gonna add a wee bit to that. I have to mark that out. Up here, I feel like I'm doing stuff, we may as well. So we're gonna add a half inch to the top here, which will pan out to about here to there. And an eighth of an inch on this side there, just to get a, a little more uniform gap up there. I'm not gonna worry myself too much. This stuff I can just sand off. We marked this with tape, so we're going to grind that away just to try to get a uniform gap-ish. <laughs> I 
And yeah, that's where we're at. I'm not too happy over here because it's okay. It's okay. There's a little bit in the middle, so uh, I just want a little more breathing room. So we're probably going to do a slice. We'll push that up just to make our lives, just to give ourselves a lot of breathing room. That's all. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with how everything's going here so far. Anyways, uh, yeah. So that's probably about the last few things left, I think I gotta do. So I'm going to, uh, we'll pull it off. We're gonna weld up these couple little bits really quick. And then I can uh, set up the sandblaster, I think, and we'll kinda blast this stuff down so we can kinda give her a little schmooze. Um, we gotta do the inner bracy bit too yet, because uh, the grill's out, I can show you. But you can see I don't have an inner fender, but this side I I don't know why. I guess the top didn't really want to come off, but you can see where the, the hood brace thing is here. We gotta move it over to this side. So when we kinda sandwich down, we can go in and grab there. I do have the inner braces there, so but I don't know how much of it I can use because of the way the, the fender steps over and stuff. So mostly the one side, you can see the the upper part kind of got chopped off. So and then this went around the control arm and all that jazz, but I don't think any of that will work on here. So we're going to just focus on catching this upper lip, or at least reusing these. I don't know if there's anything I can use out of here. We might end up making like a newer inner fender, but for now, I'm just focusing on getting that thing in primer. I think that's the big goal here. Anyways, let's pull it apart, grind this up. I'm going to put some tape on there so I know how much I got to add, and then we'll kind of... Clean that up, weld that up. We gotta do a little bit of wheeling on that little bit there. Yeah, I don't know, we're getting close. Oh yeah, we gotta fill these bottom parts. I did that on the other side, I haven't done this side yet. Alrighty.
Alrighty, after all that, I am pretty happy with my gaps on the bottom. Those are, I don't know, acceptable. It's a little on the tight side, but I don't think things are quite adjusted right. They're at least straight. Uh, we added our little bits onto the back, so that cleans up that edge a little better. Kind of happy with that. This side too, we did a little bit in the middle, so now we got a more or less even, even bit going through there. Once we get that all sorted. So, I think what we're gonna do next is, uh, I'm gonna split the hood, I'm gonna get the sand blaster, I'm gonna go outside and blast this thing. Get that, uh, get it down to steel, clean steel. To which, uh, unfortunately, it looks like I'm gonna have to body work it. I can't, uh, my, uh, my metal work isn't that nice. I'm gonna have to uh, <laughs> give it a little schmooze, but that's okay. Not a big deal. That's uh, gonna be the ongoing process with the whole car, so I'm all right with that. Alrighty, well, I guess we just get started here. <laughs> as much as I love sandblasting.
All right, that went pretty good. We sandblasted. I ended up taking the nozzle off my blaster. It had a valve in there and I noticed that that, well, it seemed like it anyways. And it ended up, it was regulating the flow coming out. So once I stuck the hose on, it worked so much better to the second round there. Anyways, we got that blasted. That took a while, you can tell. I did a little bit of live stuff. Um, I, I I wasn't too aggressive with the sandblast because I don't really want the panels just to go all bananas. So I, uh, we blasted it, roughed it out. I treated it with some of this uh, converter, rust converter, rust mort, whatever it's called, which I'm kind of getting low on. Anyways, we wipe it on. Any of the rust should turn it black, like uh, I guess treat it. I'm not worried too much in here. I just wanted to get the worst of the scale off on the inside. I'm gonna use that dome, that rust paint that I always use. I'm gonna put that on the inside of the hood and stuff. Uh, you don't really want it too clean anyways because it kind of needs rust to adhere to and basically it converts it. Similar to the wipe on stuff, but it, you'll see this is, if there's a little bit of brown, it'll turn black. And then if you don't have a sandblaster, I guess you would just wire brush it out or keep scraping away at it and get at it until, you know, it's as black as it can get, I guess. Um, the idea there, I guess, is it converts it, encapsulates it, if that's right, and then it can't, uh, if the air can't get at it, it's supposed to stop the rust, but I don't know, around here, this is about as good as we can get with this. So anyways, I'm gonna wait for that to set, convert over, and then uh, I'm going to sand it down one more time. And uh, we'll mix up some schmear, and we're gonna give her a, a quick coat here. Well, we're gonna get pretty aggressive. Just gonna smash it on. We're gonna sand it pretty much off. That's my goal anyways. And then uh, I'd like to get some primer on the outside yet tonight. That'd be like super nice. Oops. <laughs> it's a little, little acidy. Shouldn't touch that stuff. So I was wearing my rubber gloves. Can't even see it. Somewhere there was a big Used to be underneath that blob, probably. All the do's and don'ts. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I'm going to let this dry, and then uh, we'll hit her back a little later. All right. Before I sand this down, I figure I'd show you folks. Depends how you look at this. You can see how some of this just all turns black. Like over here, this one has like a whole darker texture to it. And then whatever rust basically turns black. That's the kind of purpose of that thing. Anyways, I am going to quickly sand the top of this. We're going to clean up my putty knives and uh, start mixing some stuff up and start lathering this thing. <laughs>
So I don't use a ton of hardener and I like to use resin and you're going to get mixed results. People will say you can do that. You can't do that. I don't know. I've been doing it forever. I haven't had a problem. So take it for what it is. The reason why I put that in there, I mix it with the filler and it just makes it creamier, like smoother. So it's just, just nicer. I wouldn't say it's a finishing putty, but it does. I do find that even when it's dry, it has almost like a little bit of a tacky scuzzy layer on top. So I almost saved my old sandpaper just to do the first sanding over top of it to get that top skin off. And then it sands just fine after that. Anyways, we got uh, a coat of Bondo on everything. Kind of went excessive, that's what I do. I put too much on, but I just go with uh, pretty aggressive uh, sandpaper and just sand most of it off. I don't like putting filler on, taking it off, putting filler on, taking it off, like spending days doing that. Uh, I don't enjoy that. <laughs> so I'll be wasteful with my Bondo. I'll just put way too much on and then sand it off. I don't have it very, it's not terrible, terrible. So I'm not too concerned. Normally I don't let it dry fully. I would probably cheese grate it and then hit it with my, my hog sander, whatever my big eight inch, hit that with some 36 or 24 grit or whatever I would do first round. This stuff's not too bad. I'll probably just hit it with some 40, uh, we're not going for perfect. I just like to get it done. I'd like to just get it in primer and I'd like to get the inside brush painted just so the hoods are, we'll say they're, we'll say they're 80% when I'm done. It's kind of the goal. Anyways, uh, like I say, I don't have a lot of hardener in there, so this is going to be a little tacky yet. So we'll, uh, we'll, uh, going to let it dry up and I'll come back in a bit and Sand her down.
Alrighty, we got our second coat of mud on. I kind of stretched it over a little further, just, it was okay, but when you, um, <clears throat> when you're sanding, I find if you smear in just in the area you need, by the time you sand, you screw up the other spots. So I kind of just gave everything a skim, uh, like filled what I needed, gave everything a skim. We should be good. Uh, doo -doo. Yeah, it's kind of cold in here. Not quite seeing your breath cold, but still very cool in here. So I decided to paint. I didn't do the brush with the other one. I just used trim clad, which is for steel anyways, right? Bare steel, whatnot. It is a rust paint. So anyways, that's what I used. I got a little overzealous on this side, but at least it's inside the hood. Who cares? And I'm sure I'm going to have to touch it up when I prime it anyways. So, but that side's got paint. This has got a sand. Seems like it's taking longer than I want. It's kind of, well, yeah, it is late, I guess. Well, is and isn't. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock, but I think I'm going to shut her down early. Um, yeah, I'll just finish her up tomorrow. Then I can squirt some primer on it. I think that's the plan. Kind of needs one more sand. And then we got to go finger sand in all the junky places. And then uh, we should be good. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully the paint will be dry by tomorrow and then uh, we can actually finish sanding up the rest of it here. Anyways, I don't want to touch it because then they'll end up going, <whistles> fall down and smash into themselves. I guess I'll just leave them be for now. Right, Pop? Sound like a plan? You're just patiently waiting over there? <laughs> waiting, waiting to go in. Hey, that's his thing. All right. Let's pack her up for tonight.
Ugh. I do this enough, you figure I wouldn't suck so bad at this. Guess I'm uh, a little gray. I don't know why, I missed a whole bunch of dents in the hood. I guess this thing's a lot worse than I thought. <laughs> oh well. What do you do? I think I got the bottom side good. The tops are good enough. Um, just got to do one more sanding and I think I'm good to shoot some primer on it. I, uh, it really is over here, yeah, well whatever, there was just more dents than I knew. I guess hindsight, I should just skim the whole stinking thing and I hit it with my my hog sander, that's what I call it, but it's just an eight inch orbital. I mean, for the most part it works okay. It's a flat or a rounded car, so I'm not too worried as long as you don't knife into anything. If you keep it flat, it's I find it works faster than a longboard. I don't really enjoy using the longboards, they just seem to take forever. Uh, that eats it pretty quick. That said, I have seen long boards. I remember way back in the old auto body days where we had one, a Husky, I think it was. And it was a long board, but it was actually did an orbital action. I never used that one at the time, but I imagine that would be the most awesome sanding board ever. But uh, yeah, I don't have one. And I think I found them and they're worth way more money than I'm willing to spend on one. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna let this dry. We are gonna sand this super quick and uh, then we'll be able to mix up some primer and get a coat or two or three I'll mix up a lot because I'm sure my body work isn't great but I'm fine with that we'll be able to sort of block it out well we'll use blocking it out very loosely but eventually I just want it in primer I'm not too worried about anything beyond where I'm at right now because it's just the hood and this already fought me for like a whole day just doing two hood sides so I don't want to uh, waste a whole lot of more time on there <laughs> we have so much more car to go over anyways as soon as this is dry let's give her
Well, now, that's not too bad. Sure looks a lot better on film than it does. <laughs> For the most part, it's pretty good. I did notice, again, there's another dent there that I missed. Like a full-time job. I should have just smeared the whole thing. But we're slowly getting there, one piece at a time. I think next round, uh, we got to finish up a little bit on the grill here. The, uh, I made these lower pieces, but I don't have to get them in there. And then I got to do that. And then we got to do these studs. Most of the grill seems good. So we might try to actually get that thing in prime. Oh, we got to do the headlight mount. Yeah, we're not going to touch that. <laughs> we still have a lot to do on the grill, but this centerpiece, we'll have to extend it. Because in the end, we ended up adding this much to the hood. So I think that is where we are going to leave this one. I didn't quite get everything done. I wanted to do the hood mount on the inside of the fenders and stuff, but this took way longer than I thought to do a simple bodywork and prime. It's like unreal. Anywho, in the end, I think I like the compromise I kind of did. So now that that's done-ish, <laughs> you can see where the latches are and stuff like that. I think it looks good. I think this is where I'm going to leave this one. I want to thank you all for watching and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Later.